thanks organizer for giving me this opportunity. I am going to present uh, Checkmate 770, a phase 3 study comparing the nivolumab, neoadjuvant nivolumab plus chemotherapy with neoadjuvant placebo plus chemotherapy followed by surgery and adjuvant nivo or placebo previously amputated acceptable stage 2, 3B in a CNC. So, uh, Nivo plus chemo is the standard of care uh, neoadjuvant treatment for eligible patients with resectable NSCLC. A perioperative treatment approach including adjuvant Nivo could potentially further reduce the risk of relapse and improve the clinical benefit in patients with resectable NSCLC. Checkmate 7070 is the global randomized double line phase 3 study where in the neoadjuvant Nivo plus chemo followed by neoadjuvant Nivo versus chemo placebo followed by adjuvant placebo in patients with resectable stage 2 3B NSCLC. Uh, so, resectable stage 2 3 b patients without any prior systemic treatment with good performance status, without any EGFR or ALP alterations patient was, uh, uh, was included in this stratification factor was histology, uh, disease uh, stage and tumor uh, PDL1. Uh, total number of patients was 461, 1 is to 1 randomization between uh, NIVO plus chemo 4 cycles and uh, followed by 1 year of uh, NIVO uh, in adjuvant treatment and another uh, arm was the placebo plus chemo 4 cycles followed by placebo for 1 year and uh, radiological restating was done after 4 cycles and followed by surgery within 6 weeks. Primary endpoint was the EFS by BICR, secondary endpoint was the uh, pathological complaint response, NPR, OS safety. So, uh, uh, EFS by uh, ES, uh, bar BICR was pre uh, defined and formally tested, but OS has not been, been formally tested and continues to mature during this data presentation and SMO. Baseline characteristics is almost similar between the two groups that almost 50% present from Europe and more than 20% present from Asia and uh, that mostly almost 60% present was stage 3A, 3B uh, 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 subgroup and mostly uh, current or former smoker with a PDL1 expression more than 1% was 50% of patients and almost 40% of patients had less than 1% most common chemotherapy receipt was carboplatin. So if you see that almost uh, uh, most of the patients received neoadjuvant treatment and complete neoadjuvant treatment was almost 80% more than 80% in both the subgroups and uh, 70, more than 70% patient patients received definitive surgery and almost 60% patient patients received adjuvant treatment uh, 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 and uh, almost 60% uh, patient completed uh, total adjuvant uh, treatment. So uh, the surgical outcomes almost more than 70% patient uh, had uh, lobectomy as the primary uh, surgery for uh, both the groups and almost 9%, 9 to uh, 9 and 14 percent respectively had pneumonectomy and completion of uh, recession almost R0 recession of almost 90%. So if you see that uh, EFS benefit, it is not rich for the NIMO plus uh, chemo when compared to the chemo placebo and we can add a ratio of 0.58 uh, and if you see that uh, the almost 73% patients had EFS benefit at 12 months uh, versus 59% uh, in the uh, uh, chemo plus uh, placebo and at 18 months almost 70% patients had EFS benefit in the NIMO uh, when compared to 50% in the uh, other side. So if you see that uh, that subgroup analysis that uh, that for if you see the forest spot that uh, Nemo plus chemo had better uh, EFS uh, in, in almost all the subgroups. So it is irrespective of the stage, uh, irrespective of that uh, that uh, smoking status or histology or even in the uh, different PDL1 uh, expression. Uh, so in uh, different stage that in stage two or stage three in both the subgroups that patient had uh, Nemo plus chemo had uh, better. Uh, survival uh, in uh, in PDL1 expression also even if PDL1 less than one or more than one that EFS benefit was that in less than one that Nivo had 29 months of uh, EFS uh, when compared to 19.8 with an hazard ratio of 0.73 and in more than one there was uh, hazard ratio uh, was 0.52 almost 50 percent reduction in the event in the uh, PDL1 more than one subgroups for the Nivo. So if you see that pathological complaint response, it was almost 25% in the NIVO when compared to chemo plus placebo, it is only 4%, so almost uh, more than 5 uh, times uh, improvement in the pathological complaint response in the NIVO. In MPR also almost 35% in the NIVO plus chemo when compared to that uh, chemo placebo is almost 12%, almost 3 times more MPR. Uh, so in uh, PCR and uh, pathological complete response in the subgroup, so most of the subgroups uh, that pathological complete response favoring in that uh, NIVO when compared to the others. If you see that EFS by the pathological complete response, uh, whether patient is having pathological complete response or no pathological complete response, EFS is better in that NIVO when compared to that uh, uh, placebo plus uh, chemo. Uh, whether patient has received adjuvant treatment or no, no adjuvant treatment, uh, basically NIVO uh, plus chemo was uh, uh, that uh, better uh, EFS benefit uh, when compared to the chemo plus uh, placebo. 
So if you see the safety signals, the all cause uh, adverse effects was almost similar between the two groups, but treatment related adverse effect was slightly higher in the uh, Nibo when compared to the Timo plus uh, placebo. And uh, the two patients, that the one person patient had uh, treatment related death in Nibo, uh, uh, Nibo arm, uh, and uh, uh, one person had a severe uh, pneumonitis and one person had great for uh, pneumonitis. So most common immune related adverse effect uh, was uh, hyper, uh, hypothyroidism. Uh, and followed by uh, that uh, pneumonitis in the uh, nivo arm and uh, it was almost 11 percent patient had hypothyroidism in the nivo arm. So to summarize the new adjuvant nivo plus nivo followed by surgery and adjuvant nivo demonstrated and statistically significant and clinically meaningful EFS improvement versus chemo plus nivo in patients with resectable NSCLC with an hazard ratio of 0.58 and EFS benefit was seen across most of the uh, subgroups Pathological complete response and major pathological response rate was also improved uh, in the NIVO plus chemo arm. In an exploratory analysis, perioperative NIVO favored EFS in patients with a pathological complete response versus chemo placebo, regardless of the pathological complete response status. New adjuvant NIVO plus chemo continued to provide benefit over chemo in patients who are unable to receive adjuvant treatment. Perioperative NIVO based regimen showed no new, uh, new safety signals and surgical feasibility uh, was similar between the treatment arms. So to conclude that Checkmate 7070 is the first phase 3 perioperative study to build on the standard of care new adjuvant NIVO plus chemo and supports perioperative NIVO as a potential new treatment option for the patients with resectable NSCLC. Thank you.